Martin. I'm Phil John Lambert, the founder of the EFA Foundation International. I'd like to welcome you to the last iteration of the first iteration, which of course comes in the uh, month of January. And this is the last one for January of this year. For those of you who are not aware, um, it's a very simple kind of a thing. We divine an Odu. We divine what's the best energy for it. And then you all may place whatever is going on in your life in relationship to that energy. And uh, you say, well, hey, that isn't a great deal of help. But actually, it is a great deal of help. Because the um, amount of uh, success that we have for people who adapt this energy to that which needs to be used, not to that which they're used to doing or more comfortable doing. Uh, it's phenomenal. So, uh, you know, Rubio has been watching people divine and diviners divine for uh, thousands of years. And he pretty much knows uh, what we should be asking and what we should not. And uh, you know, I think uh, you're going to be very, very surprised and pleased um, if you follow this. Uh, in the meantime, before I get started, I, I would like to you know, make one last uh, you know, announcement that uh, our new applications uh, continue. They continue uh, with uh, themes and ideas and concepts which we've never considered and I don't think anybody else in EFA has ever considered. I mean, now it's not just about getting initiated or, you know, getting in a bow or getting rid of a certain energy. Now we're down to the specifics of things like well, let me give you a few examples. Uh, husband and wife get divorced. The wife gets custody of who? Generally, the female uh, the people that are left over, and uh, the male gets the male people. Sometimes it's a little bit different. Or let's say you have uh, an elderly um, mother or father. Uh, that needs care, etc. Remember, mothers and fathers live a great deal longer now than they used to. Um, today, it is you know the norm to be having people live to 70, 80. Here I am, uh, and uh, so we need solutions to those problems. So it's not only you know about taking care of your you know. Um, your mother or your father, it's a matter of you know, pinpointing the task. And there are hundreds of these. And there are all the usual ones, of, you know, the normal things that we do. But by doing this, you know, by um, having this our implementation, we've become much more accurate. We've become much more able to help you, to help yourself, to go forward with life. In the meantime, this week we were almost a ray. We were just a spin away from it. But at any rate, um, the uh, what we'll do was uh, Erosun uh, Awami. Erosun is a sign of using your best intellect to decide whether or not what you're doing is, you know, um, sensible, whether it's logical, whether it's honest, whether the people are, you know, being honest with you, etc. And uh, one read suggests that blockages which exist, and they do exist in this, are getting ready to break loose. And when they break loose, it's a whole nice thing which happens. Unfortunately, however, they you know, it doesn't come ira, it comes eb, but just as I said, by a smidge, just you know, by a little bit of smidge, and the, the, that which was, you know, identified it, 
was in the uh, Agunda. So what I think from here is that we haven't been doing the work or the thinking necessary for the job and task. Okay? But what, about what we had to learn. The uh, answer to uh, for the clawing our way out of this is a shoe. It's been a while since we've had a shoe as the uh, operative uh, Arisha. And uh, here he is, and popping up his head. And uh, Eshu would like oil. And before I tell you how to give him the oil, you know, etc., if you don't, then your relationships are going to go into the toilet. If you do, you're going to save those relationships. Now that go my puppies. You're going to save those relationships. And they're going to blossom and grow in the right possible way. So, um, with the background of my dogs, uh, because they were so quiet all day, um, and I can't see anything out the window that they see, but sometimes they have invisible, you know, <laughs> ways of seeing things. Um, the uh, idea is you take a shoe down, or what um, suffices for a shoe for you, or if you, if you have a pot with a shoe in it. And you light a candle, a white candle, a tea candle is more than acceptable. And then you light a, excuse me, then, then you give a glass of pure water, and you set it there. It's a single glass, not two glasses, but a single glass. And you put the oil in the dish in front of a, uh, a shoe and pray to a shoe to a pass. To think this over, to arrange this, to get it all, you know, in a, in a line. Um, because we're not very far off. We're very close to being on path. And once we get on path, then we're going to find out that our relationships are better and life goes better at the same time. And so next week, a slightly less, more quiet, a little less noisy, love and blessings.